62 laps complete. The Monster Energy Cup Series racing from Bristol. This telecast presented by Wendy's. Now, Steve, I hear you're going to be moonlighting on Monday. What's going on? Monday, all day, me and the bag man, all day on Sirius NASCAR Radio, Sirius XM. I don't know who thought it was a good idea to put me off the entire <laughs> show with Bagley, but it is going to be great. I always love calling in and talking with Bagley. They're going to have me on the whole time. Y'all call in and uh, ask him some hard yeah, questions. Call Don't throw any softballs to him. Call, call in. I'm ready. This, this is what I love about Bristol. This, I mean, there's cars everywhere. <laughs> like, you, like I said, it once you yeah. clear traffic, right? There's <laughs> never really going to clear traffic. It's just, it's just Bristol, man. There's nothing like it in the world. This car right here, Kevin Harvick, he did not get a great start. He was a little bit slow taking off, but now he is rolling. He is running down. Chase Elliott, he's been running the bottom, been running the top. This car seems to me can run anywhere he wants to run it. Dave. When I talked to Kevin before the race, that's the idea that I got about his race car. Very, very confident about what the four could do today. Uh, wasn't so sure about the radio, though, a few laps ago. I believe it was interference. He just yelled across, the radio's not working. And then on Channel 2, they talked about interference. So that could be a little striking at Bristol because here, oh, and troubles for Joey Logano. Logano diving down onto pit road to an issue with the 22. Definitely didn't need to come to pit road for fuel. And just reminding uh, everyone, pit road, very right front here. He says he has a right front down. Looks like it's low on air. Under green, you only have to run the straightaway you're on. So Joey Logano will only pit on the front stretch. He won't have to run the entire pit road, but will still lose at least one, if not two laps. Here comes the leader, Danny Hamlin, on the front stretch. This will put the 22 one lap down to change the left side tires. But remember, 15 seconds. The 11's going to be right back on him here again. Oh, slow in the left oh, rear. No, this is going to cost him perhaps a whole nother lap. They have a problem over here in the left rear. Took a long time. Here comes the leader. That's another lap. That was That's a dead. costly mistake. Wow, let's see the smoke oh, out of the 21 car. I didn't think he expected the 22 to come across his nose like that. Lock the tires up to stay out of the way. And I'm going to tell you what all of this did as we watch that 22. Here comes Denny Hamlin right in front of this 21 car. You see Kyle Larson as well. Just out in front of that 11. The 48 of Jimmy Johnson, the 18 of Kyle Busch. You see him. Two cars up. Now, there's, you can't panic. Even if you lose one lap, you're still going to be okay. But you know Kyle Busch sees that 11 coming. There you go right here. Contact. Oh, the left front. Locked the left front up trying to avoid the 11 of Denny Hamlin. Thought that smoke was contact, but it was a left front lockup. Denny Hamlin working his way through traffic, and now he's getting ready to put Bubba Wallace a lap down and closing in on the 18 of Kyle Busch as well. Kelly? Just confirmed with the 22 team of Joey Logano that there was a cut in the right front tire. That's what brought him to pit road right now, being scored three laps down, and, and pretty disappointing for a team that was full of optimism coming into this race. 